Hey, hey, lovely. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. And while you're here, why don't you just go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button. It's okay. You know you want to. Go right ahead. I'll wait a second. All right. You subscribe. We're good now. So I'm here today to talk to you about my top five favorite beauty products. Now, some of these products may be something that you haven't thought of before. It's like, oh, I wouldn't have used that for that. You know, it's just stuff that I like to use with my beautification process. Oh, before I get started. So I did, I just did the um, ColourPop haul video. So this is one of the lippy sticks. It's called Boys Town. And this is that red shadow that I had swatched. I can't remember the name right now, but I'll link it below. But yeah, that's the red shadow. So very amazing pay color payoff, beautiful products, and the lippy wears very well. It's very comfortable. I put I actually put a um, liner underneath. And, well, first I did primer, then I did liner, and then I put the lippy stick on top. And I don't even feel the other stuff. Like the lippy stick has my lips so moisturized, so soft. It feels really, really good. Anyway, so let's jump on into this video. So my first well, this is number five, so I'm going to start from five and count down. So the fifth item that I'm going to show you, just simple coconut oil. The one that I got is organic, but like I didn't even buy like a name brand. It's just called Nature's Way, and it is 16 ounces. This says USDA organic, and it just looks like this, and I'll show you the inside. Sometimes it's like a hardened substance. Sometimes like if you keep it in your bathroom and like you're showering and stuff, it melts a little bit. So I like to use this to clean my makeup brushes. It's great. Like I'll use it and mix it with the baby oil and like some dial soap and some water. And I use like my little um, pad to like rub the brushes on. But I also use this to clean off my makeup now it does have tons of functions there's a whole bunch of youtubers out there to talk about all the different things you can use coconut oil for however this is an excellent and a cheap way to remove your makeup like i used to buy different uh makeup removal products that didn't even take all the makeup off i still had mascara on i still had some blush or whatever it was still on and it didn't completely take it off um but this, like I take my, um, what is it called? Makeup eraser, go over once, and then I'll take this and like cover my face in it and my neck and like rub it in a little bit. And then I'll get in the shower and bathe and then wash it all off and face is completely clean. And then, you know, I do my um, cleansing, of course, and then I'm ready for the toner. I'm ready to get, get my beauty regimen going. So yeah, this stuff is a gem it's great and it takes off your makeup better than even some of those high-end expensive products okay up to the next one is actually something that I make myself so I keep it in these little jars and these jars you can get from like Walmart in the travel section it's kind of well loved but yeah it's called it says um what is it I go travel jars so I, I think they sell them in like twos or threes or something anyway this is my lip scrub now if you would like to know what i made it with then you're more than welcome to put a comment in the box below and i will tell you what's in it um and like the measurements and everything but basically it's like brown sugar honey and um some olive oil and so sometimes it separates so like when you're in the shower you kind of have to um go go in you know or if you're doing it at the sink whatever you know you have to go on with your finger and swirl it around a little bit but it works amazingly it's an excellent and it's like really really cheap like who doesn't already have olive oil and brown sugar in their house so like you don't have to go out and buy some some expensive scrub so and you just get you one of these little jars pop it on in there and this has lasted me for like a few weeks now this is another one of my favorites, which you're going to be able to see in a second. It's very well loved. So it's called Pharmacy Honey Potion. What it is, 
is a it's a um, renewing anti antioxidant hydration mask. So what I'll do is wash my face and then give a good like use a um, scrub on the face and put the toner on. But this, oh my goodness, let me tell y'all first of all how much I love honey, like products like honey soap, honey bath soap, honey lotion. So when I found this um, face mask, I was super excited. Like I quickly chucked the one that I was currently using at the time and I went for this one and this one is actually a much better value. The other one that I was using was like maybe an ounce and it was, I don't even remember how much like how much it was, but this one is 4.1 ounces. And it had a great price. It was like 40 something dollars. I got it at Sephora. I'll show you guys the inside. And it comes with this little like spatula kind of thing that you can take it off and, um, you know, like you dip in to the mask, put some on the spatula, and then I'll take it off with my finger and like rub it in. But that's what it looks like. It smells really nice too, and it goes on really nice. Like how, how it starts out is like this kind of jelly-like substance. And then you just, well, I put too much. But then you just take it onto your skin and rub it. And as you rub it in, it turns white. So that's how you know you've rubbed it in enough. And it starts to warm the skin. They call it like a pleasant warming sensation. I'll be honest, the first few times, I'm not going to say it burned, but... It was, let's say it was more than a warming sensation and less than a burn, put it that way. So it took some getting used to, but I'm good with it now. And I don't even feel the heat anymore. So let's go on to the next product. This is number th number two. This is called the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. That's what it looks like. And it is 0.52 ounces. I get this at Sephora, and this is more of a high-end product, but it lasts you, like, a really long time. This is what the packaging looks like, and a lot of people complain that the packaging peels off and makes a big mess. Mine never has. Like, I've never, here it is, I've never had a problem with it. So this small tube, literally, like, what I do, I use it every night before I go to bed. I'll put it on and then get in the bed, and most of the time when I wake up the next morning, it's actually still on my lips but this feels amazing on it is very it's thick but it's not like sticky or nasty it doesn't feel icky on your skin it feels really soft really comfortable and when I say that my lips used to be very dry very cracked and like peeling and everything since I've started making my own scrub using my scrub and I've used this my lips are like baby soft super super soft um no more peeling no more flaking and like when I put on my lipstick it looks gorgeous now I used to put on my lipstick before it would look like choppy and broken up this product is amazing it is a must must have must have I think it's like $28 for the tube but the tube will last you a few months because as I was saying you only put it on at night it's a mask so just like you would do your face mask you put it on once a day that's it you don't wear it all day every day and you just put like a little bit goes a long way and you just kind of um slide it on your lips and and leave it there overnight and your lips are i'm not gonna say your lips will be baby soft the next morning but with the you know maybe a week or two with the um scrubbing the lips twice a week i started out twice a week now i'm down to one because my lips are amazing now but scrub twice a week and then do the lip mask every night. You will have baby soft lips. Kissable lips. Just. Okay. So my number one favorite beauty product is going to be something that you're going to be like, what? How's that her favorite? And what do you mean beauty product? Like, no. So we're going to start with this big jar. The Palmer's Cocoa Butter. When I say that you need this in your life, this jar, I don't even remember because my husband went and picked up the last one. Um, but it's super cheap. 7.25 ounces. 
it smells amazing let me just tell you that this is very well loved very well loved i've been using this and digging in it and doing my thing for a little minute and so my husband just went the other day and bought me another one he was like honey i see your cocoa butter is low and he and he went out to walmart and he came back with another cocoa butter i didn't even ask him he just bought it see amazing so anyway Y'all ain't come to hear about all that, right? So, yes, this is amazing. So, what I use, mostly use the cocoa butter for, like, I like to use it on my feet to keep the baby soft. I don't have dry skin. I don't have scaly skin. I don't have them nasty, icky, yucky feet or anything. I have really nice, soft baby skin on my feet, and this is part of the reason why. And I also, just like I showed you guys with that little, um, the scrub that I make, I have a whole bunch of these little jars they come very much in handy so I keep this one in my purse and then like after I wash my hands after using the bathroom or just if it's cold outside and dry I just take a little bit and just swipe a little bit off rub it in the hands again baby soft no ash no dry no cracking nice and soft this stuff is amazing and you get a big jar of it for a cheap price and the jar will last you a while and like you know even if you want to use it after you bathe on your entire body like I said baby soft skin I don't I specifically don't use it all over I just use it on my feet but and this is also part of number one my favorite part of number one so this is the swivel stick now when I was pregnant with my daughter, I used to use it on my belly to um, prevent stretch marks, right? Which, it worked wonders. I had not one stretch mark. But, one day, my daughter was visiting and she pulls out of her pocket one of these bad boys and starts doing what? Rubbing it on her lips. I was like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm spending all this crazy money buying lip balm and chapstick and... EOS and EOS are not cheap and EOS actually made my lips uh, peel more so I had to get rid of that I saw her using this I was like wow and these things are only like maybe a dollar fifty two dollars and again this stick will last you for months months let's see it is half an ounce but it's not like you need a lot like how much are you going to be putting onto your lips every day all day but I carry, I have literally, I have four of these. I have one in my purse, I have one in my nightstand, and I have one in the car, and I have one, I think, in my school bag. Like, I carry this all. Let me bring it up for you again so you can see it again. I keep this on me at all times. On deck, always. Like, team cocoa butter, okay? That's all I can say. You need some, get you some in your life. Like, it's a game changer. This stuff is amazing. So, those are my top five favorite beauty products. Um, in the links below, maybe you can let me know what your top five favorite beauty products are. Let me know if you've never had, used any of these before and then you decided to try it after watching this video. Let me know how you liked it. Yeah, give me some suggestion, suggestions. Maybe you want me to try something out for you guys and you want to see... How it works, let me know. Holla at me. So, thanks again for coming by. And do not forget to subscribe and like. Peace out.